Hey, what's up guys? It's Aaron and Christine from Irene Iron Fitness. And about six months ago, we quit our jobs and started our own online fitness and nutrition coaching business that we run from our 2014 Airstream Sprinter van. We just made it back home and we could not wait to go through this stuff and downsize even further. We thought we had a pretty good handle on being minimalist, but as you can see, we just packed way too much stuff and we're gonna bring you guys along with and show you what we're taking off. Clothing, our number one category that we overpacked on the van. We're getting rid of all of this. Aaron got rid of most of the clothes. So he has an excess of boxers, tons of boxers, tons of shorts, lots of shorts. He already threw away a lot of socks while, we, while we've been traveling. Um, he has a ton of shirts here, specifically like polo shirts, collared shirts, and flannel shirts, things that are nicer looking that we just really haven't worn. He mostly wears his workout shirts every day and then casual t-shirts. So a lot of dress shirts coming off. I'm taking off a flannel, a few tank tops, a few dresses, two pairs of jeans, so I'm wearing a lot of shorts. I still have a lot of jeans, but swimsuits, and that's it. Lots of clothes. This is a lot of space, and it's going to free up a lot of um, space in our cupboards so that we're constantly not cramming in and out. Like, just having some open areas makes it so much better to go in and find what you need and have a little space on the side in case you need to store something temporarily. Like, it just makes it so much better. So, clothes. Bedding and pillows coming in second. So we have a lot of bedding here. We have a big comforter. We have full, full king size sheets. This is a yoga mat cover. Um, pillowcases, four pillowcases. So when we left Minneapolis, it was cold. It was January, middle of winter, and it was cold and miserable. So we packed it all in. We wanted to make sure we had bedding for any season, anywhere. And we also wanted to have bedding for guests that may come and sleep in here. So we pictured like, if we needed to, laying some soft bedding down on this aisle. And when we had company, like I would go sleep down there or Aaron would go sleep down there. Well, that never happened. And even if it did, we probably wouldn't want to keep all this stuff anyway. So we cleared out a bunch of space up here. This is where we kept all of our bedding. And all of this extra bedding, we had from here that way, it has a really deep pocket about that size. So we cleared that all out and it allowed us to get our winter jackets up there, some big fat hoodies up there and other seasonal stuff that we pulled out of our wardrobe closet because our wardrobe closet was crammed. Every time we got a shirt out, it was super wrinkly and it was just really nice to just move something in here. Like winter jackets we're obviously not using all the time, but we still have a lot of bedding up here. We have two standard bed pillows. We have this big comforter. We have a extra duvet cover so when it's hot and we don't want our main comforter we can still use something heavy to sleep with. Um, I have a little fuzzy blanket that I like to curl up with um, and then regular sheets we have a fitted sheet and then the top sheet so that's like five blankets that we still have. Um, yoga mat but that's not part of our bedding collection we just store it up there. So our pillows are on this side and Along with the bedding, we have all these pillows, these beautiful Airstream pillows that really do look nice. And like normally there's a couple there, there's a couple there, and then a couple more here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six pillows that we have to move. Every time we make the bed and every time we assemble it and disassemble it in the morning and the night, we have to move these pillows around and it gets kind of irritating. It's like that one movie, I think it's called Along Came Polly, where Ben Stiller talks about the pillows getting thrown away and re-thrown away and 
It's funny. Watch it. What is the point of these things, really, right? No point. Ha! Ha! Stupid! Ha! 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 I mean, what am I, running a bed and breakfast? Not <laughs> anymore! You know how many minutes a day I spend getting throw pillows on and off the bed? How many? Four minutes in the morning, four minutes at night. That's eight minutes of my life. I figured it out. It's 56 minutes a week. It's nearly two days of my life a year I spend putting pillows on and off a stupid bed! Um, especially these little pillows. They're, like, super non-effective. Like, what do you even use this for? So like these ones are great because we use them to like when we're laying at night we prop them up and you know you get a little prop so we're probably going to keep at least two of these big ones and then get rid of both of these little ones and a couple of the other ones so this is going to feel really good another category that we have is accessories for clothing like purses bags shoes belts so here's a purse that i'm getting rid of into storage I have the same one in black that I use every day. I thought I would want a brown version so I can switch up my outfits, but I've never used this once. I actually used it to hold swimsuits and it was like a huge waste of space in my cupboard. So that's huge to be gone. A backpack for Aaron. We were going to use this as I think a, like a hiking backpack. He still has another little backpack that he uses for the gym every day. So this was the third backpack on the van. We're getting rid of the third one, and him and I are both still keeping our main backpack for hiking and the gym every day. Belts. Aaron has a spare belt. I have a couple belts that I'm getting rid of too. They're just not in this pile right now. Sandals and shoes. These are like dress sandals of Aaron's that I don't think he's ever worn once. Athletic shoes for Aaron. These are like shoes that he would wear at the campsites but he already has a different pair of campsite shoes, so he's gonna wear out that one and then eventually get these ones back. I have some hiking shoes that I brought that I don't need. I still have some Timberland hiking boots that I'm gonna keep. So again, this is just extra. Like, I brought these ones because they're a little bit lighter, a little bit cooler. Thought they'd be more comfortable for hiking in the hot weather, but I don't need them. Um, I have like it feels like 50,000 of these headbands before we left I chopped my hair off and when I work out or put my hair in a pony I would need these to keep my hair up um, I know that there's gonna be probably five more of these on the van once we work this way but I don't need them anymore I'm growing my hair out I'm sick of looking at them <sighs> done with it so another big category that we have is books when we came on the van, we actually had a really, really big pile of books, much larger than what we actually brought. And once the van got full, the books were the first thing to kind of get booted. We were still able to bring a lot on though. So we brought these books, haven't been able to spend much time reading them. We're just so busy all the time. So we're getting rid of these big books, some little books, um, these are like, these are fun to read books, but they're also like educational books. And then also I have these from my nutrition courses. They're like workbooks and extra modules. And of course, you know, everybody's like, oh, I'm going to redo the modules and redo my learning stuff. Well, I still have my textbooks and stuff. So we are keeping two giant textbooks from my personal training and my nutrition coaching. For me to study up on but we're getting rid of all these this is a lot of weight so this is everything we worked today for I don't know two three hours and we made it through probably half of our van we have all this to get rid of we have that bedding in the back that you saw and then the next time that we're gonna carve out some hours for doing this we still have all of our kitchen equipment to go through we still have this big pantry to go through. We have this whole cubby to go through still that has all that, I don't even know what to call it, just weird stuff, odds and ends. And then all of the pockets in our driving cab. So like the driver's seat and the passenger seat, they have little pockets on the doors. So we have a lot to go through left. And this was actually a lot of fun. Towards the end of the night, we're starting to get a little tired and ready to cut it for the night. but. I'm so excited to have some free space and once we hit the road again we're gonna have like this new sense of organization 
and clear head for how we stay organized moving forward. So one thing that almost all Class B camper vans have, or almost all vans, I guess, if people make them, uh, build them out, is a TV in the background somewhere. And they're pretty cool, you know, they swing around, you can watch them from many different angles, you can watch it from up front, you can swing it this way, you can move it around. But for us, we literally never watch this thing, I don't think, more than once and it's just always been in the way. So we were very excited to get this thing out and removed. So we ended up using this mostly as a little cubby for our phones because the outlet's right above the TV here. And so we'll plug in our phones and charge them. Uh, but if we watched a movie or wanted to stream something, we just did it on our laptops or we have an iPad too. So. We plan on pulling this thing down. We'll show you what that looks like and uh, either getting a little slide out shelf like this to you know, sit our laptop on or uh, something that flips down maybe. But uh, it's just even this little three inches right here is a big deal. It's it just it clips you like when you're trying to move, make the bed, just it uh, it's in the way and it's a good idea. It makes sense. But uh, when space is at a minimum like it is here it's got to go and this is what it's like with it down we can actually sit here and when our table's put up right here it's great so that we can actually like utilize the table to the full extent we can seat four here it's easier for me to like get in and out of bed at night this is my side of the bed and it just feels open like when we're laying down or sitting on the couch anytime we're back here it's brighter it's open and it feels a lot larger less restrictive so right away when we were on the road we knew that this thing was gonna go and we were gonna take it down right away but we had nowhere to store it so we just left it on the wall to store it on the wall and we're finally getting it down this was the number one thing that we were excited to get rid of the next largest category is kitchen supplies, kitchen equipment. We have a lot of it and I love cooking. I love having everything I need and I thought that this was going to be good but it turned out I really overpacked my kitchen. Starting with, we'll start this way and work that way. So a meat thermometer, literally never, I would never use this. Like I don't have an oven to do roasts which is really the only thing that I use my meat thermometer for back home. So this is like, I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly think I remember looking at this and being like, oh, William Sonoma thermometer, this is really nice. I should probably just bring this. Bad idea, never used it. Uh, knives for like slicing, like this was a cheap dollar knife at Walmart. This big bread knife, like literally never used any of these. I still have my two large chef knives that I love so I won't miss these ones um, vegetable peeler I had two who needs two vegetable peelers <laughs> steak knives we still have two these are two that we're leaving behind so we had four um, and we really planned on having four settings of everything just in case we hosted dinner with another couple which is great. I think it's a very common unspoken rule in the van life community or in RV community where if you're going to somebody's place, you just say, should I bring my own utensils? Should I bring my own plates? It's very common. We didn't need to have placings for four. So we're getting rid of a couple forks, these big ones. These are really heavy. Like they're just awkward. The big forks are way too big. So we always use the small forks for everyday things but going down to two instead of four. Same with spoons. These spatulas I use for everything. I use these three times a day, but I had four of them. Why the overkill? I don't know, I'm neurotic. I still am leaving two on the van, which even two is one too many, but cutting down from four. Um, spatulas, spatulas, wood utensils. These giant spoons, they're just, don't need them. Strainer, I have a small one and a large one. So I'm keeping the large one, 
Eliminating the small one. I don't need to. Instant pot accessories. This is fun. So all, all seven months or six months or however long we've been gone, I've been carrying these accessories around and I don't even have an instant pot on the van. So we were going to bring our instant pot. We have the small sized one. I forget what size quart it is, but it's the smaller one. And you know, I'm really just not a huge fan of the instant pot. I know a lot of people love it and that's awesome. I do like it for cooking rice and cooking quinoa because they're quick and they don't make a mess and they don't heat up your space. I love it for that, but I'm not going to keep the Instant Pot around just for cooking starches. I can use my regular stovetop for that. Um, just don't like it. So leaving that behind. These lids go to some bowls that I have. I'm still keeping the bowls. They're nesting bowls. They're awesome. But these lids were always like always in the way up in our cabinet so gonna leave these behind plates way too many plates then this all goes back to the serving for four people I wanted to have enough plates I wanted to have a couple different like for prepping food and serving food and then this is just a lot of space this is a lot of weight and I'm so excited to get rid of it or put in storage we're not getting rid of it we're storing it this little mini egg pan, literally never used it once. I don't even know, like, I don't make English muffin sandwiches in the morning, so why do I have this? It's like one of those things that, yeah, maybe someday I'll make little muffin sandwiches. Yeah, never. And the last thing in the kitchen segment, this wine opener. I remember getting this at a restaurant I worked at years ago. It's not even a nice one. We have a few really nice wine openers here. We don't need three, but we like to gift them out to very special people. Um, so we're getting rid of this. So here's our kitchen stuff. I feel better already. It's gonna be so much nicer working in drawers where you're not constantly getting stuff stuck and like getting stuff crammed up here. That was happening to me all the time in my utensil drawer just cause all of these were just bulking it up. So that was a really big category and I feel better already. Just love a good purge. So in conclusion, after six months of travel in our van, we realized we had too much stuff. So all of this we took out and uh, we're happy that we did. It definitely just frees up the space and makes it more comfortable. We were always uh, pretty clean in there and pretty organized because if you let it get cluttery, it's just, it's miserable and you, you got to already move everything to get to another side of the van or to move something um, so less stuff is more in this lifestyle for sure yeah it's not fun to move 52 things to get to one item that you need and then return all 52 things back yeah absolutely so all this stuff basically we didn't use in six months and uh, everybody's gonna pack a little bit differently and everybody's needs are different um, but it's nice to know what you prioritize and six months is a great amount of time to realize that you yeah, don't need it. it was a good test period. Like any, you know, longer, it would have just been dragging it out way too long. We knew that we were coming home, so there were some items where we probably would have been tempted just to donate them or get rid of them. Yeah. But since we knew we were coming home, it was like, ah, let's just wait it out and take some time, go through everything properly, which we did. We spent two days doing this. Um, it was a combination, kind of like not fun, but also exciting at the same time. One of those chores that has a big reward. So for us, we're really excited to get the space. And it just makes you feel a little bit lighter and a little bit more organized going into our next stint. Our next stint will be a lot longer, so we want to be comfortable. Yep, for sure. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if it helped you at all or gave you any thoughts or ideas, if you are planning on going full time or are living the lifestyle already, uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So thanks again for watching. See you next time.